welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to Bar Harbor Catering Company and Sea Ray Lobster. We're actually making a Maine lobster cake, so it's similar to what you would think of a crab cake. Um, got some interesting Southwest ingredients mixed with a little Maine flavor. These are the components of our Maine lobster cake. Cooked Maine lobster here. We've undercooked it just a bit because we don't want it to overcook in our cake later. Diced shallots, diced uh, red and orange bell pepper, two cloves of chopped garlic, cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of the Dijon, uh, a single egg, a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, dash of Worcestershire sauce and just a little bit of salt. This is our house remoulade um, and that will be what we garnish with. So we've got our pan preheating over uh, medium high heat and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil uh, and then we're going to add in our shallots, about a half cup of the chopped peppers, seasoned with a little bit of salt. Yeah, we're just looking for the uh, shallots to get translucent and for the peppers to soften. We still want to have a little bit of bite left to the vegetable. I'm just going to add in the garlic at the last second there so we don't burn it. So now that the saute portion is done, we're going to grab a bowl and mix the wet components. Uh, here we have a cornbread. This is going to be the, the base of our cake uh, instead of a breadcrumb or um, some other bread product, we do a homemade cornbread. So ideally you want to let this cool down just to room temperature. And to that we're going to add a little bit of our mayonnaise, a little bit of the Dijon. We're going to do one egg. So we're just going to mix this together. We're going to add in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and then a little bit of our Old Bay seasoning. And then we're going to add in our uh, lobster. Um, so there's claw, knuckle, tail, the whole guy in there. So we're going to do uh, a little bit more cornbread. Uh, and then we want to just fold that right in. This is one of those recipes that some days you need a little bit more, some days you need a, bit, a little bit less. Depends on how much moisture is in your lobster, how much moisture is in your peppers. It's more of a feel than a, an actual amount. A little more oil in the pan. This time you do want to let it get pretty hot. We want to get a nice brown crust on there. So if your pan's not hot enough, it'll just get soggy and absorb all that oil. And you're not worrying about cooking it through right now, so a nice thick cake is, is what we're aiming for. Let's check on the bottom there. That's exactly what we're going for. Just give it another minute to do the same thing on the bottom, and then we'll put it in a 350-degree oven for about 10 minutes. So we're just doing it right in the pan here. Uh, this is how you would do it for catering or in a restaurant, but at home you can put it on a cookie sheet. Either way works. Has been about 10 minutes. Nice and golden brown on top and puffed up. The egg did its job. Just let them cool for a second while we garnish the plate. So we have our chipotle remoulade sauce on the bottom there. We're gonna do two per person here. Also have some uh, fresh edible flowers from our friend Rachel down the road. Just gonna garnish the plate with that. A little more sauce on top. Just the top with a little bit of fresh peas shoots. And there you have it. And that's how we make our main lobster cake at Bar Harbor Catering Company. <laughs>